Hi guys, let's talk about garage business property insurance. Now, if you're watching this, you probably own a dealership or an auto garage or something like that. And this is what you think of when you think I need insurance, right? So I'm gonna go into exactly what this covers and what you need to do about it. So garage business property covers exactly that, the property of your business. This covers your stuff, the actual physical things that you use day in and day out to do business. So it covers your building, it covers your tools, it covers all the other equipment you have, it covers the actual physical location. Now it doesn't cover land, but we'll get into exactly what it doesn't cover in a little bit. The coverage itself is actually divided into two different things. The first thing is the building coverage. And so we're talking about the actual structure that you use, any other secondary structures that are on your property or on your lot. So if you have a dealership, for example, you've got your showroom building, you've got your offices in there probably as well, but if your offices are on a second part of the lot, that's a separate location. If you have a garage on the second part of your lot, like a secondary location for that, that's a secondary building as well. So any structure, any building, that's what we're talking about in building coverage. The second part of this is your personal property. Now, doesn't mean the stuff you brought from home unless it's owned by the business. So what we're talking about here are the pieces of equipment that you use that your business owns that are on the premises. So if you've got uh, all your tools that you use uh, to actually do the work on vehicles, if you've got office equipment, PCs, things like that, if you've got all kinds of things inside there that are owned by the business, that's what it's for. PS, the, the auto lift, the actual lift that picks up those cars so you can do the stuff you've got to do to them, that's not personal property because it's physically attached to the location itself, to the premises. So that's going to be on your building. Crazy, I know. So now you know what it does, but what does it actually protect you from? What risks are covered on this policy? So the things that you are really worried about are definitely covered on this. Fire, for example, covered. Weather related, be that wind, lightning, hail, stuff like that, all covered. Vandalism and theft, both covered. So this is going to cover you from the major things that can happen to your business and, and more importantly, that are gonna happen to your stuff. So your policy probably also covers a lot more than that, but every policy is a little different. So make sure you ask your agent what it covers. So like I said, there's a ton that's covered on this policy, but there are some things that are not gonna be covered on this policy. And you're probably wondering what that is. There's a lot more information on the blog attached to this video, so if you want the full deal, go check that out. But a couple things really quick. There's gonna be limited protection for things that are actually on your computer. So any records you have, any uh, money that you might have on that computer, any valuable information, that's not gonna be fully covered. You're gonna to have to get a different kind of policy to really protect that, or at least an addition on this policy that's gonna help protect that. The second thing, and, and, and I think this is a huge, the cars. You, if you don't own the vehicles, that's gonna be on these other policies that we've talked about in some of these other blogs and videos, things like garage keepers and garage liability insurance. So make sure you're fully protected from all of that with all of those policies that we've talked about. So what makes garage insurance total. So I hope this helps give you kind of an understanding of what this really important coverage does. You know. Business property is what, like I said, most people think of when they think of insurance because it's it's the stuff you can see. So make sure you have enough of it. You, you definitely don't want to go into a situation where you're trying to shortchange yourself on this. One big thing happens and if you don't have full coverage on your building itself, well that's going to be a catastrophe if you have a total loss. So these are the things insurance agents feel like they don't really have to say, right? But, but I think it's important to be said that you need to be fully covered. In fact, for a lot of things you need to be covered more than you think, but luckily you can't insure a building for more than it would cost to rebuild it. Important note, there's a difference between replacement cost 
and market value. And there's a blog attached to this video that'll explain that a little bit better. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you guys have questions, please click the link below. Let's set aside a time to talk. I will put you in touch with one of our incredible agents who specialize in garage insurance that can walk you through exactly what you need so that you can be covered and protected and very confident moving forward. Thanks, and we'll talk to you soon.